The federal government today said it will provide more than $800 million to develop a rare earths mine and refinery in central Australia, run, as Ed told us earlier, by Arafura Resources. The project will provide critical minerals the government says are essential to achieve net zero emissions in Australia by 2050. And Matt Cunningham reports. A massive kickstart for an industry of the future. This is a, a huge body of funding that will go to really uplift Australia's capacity in rare earths mining and refining. The Federal Cabinet signed off on an $840 million package to support Arafura Resources develop its Nolans project about 125 kilometres north of Alice Springs. The government says tapping into Australia's vast critical mineral resources will help achieve net zero by 2050. Australia is the lucky country. It's been lucky for a very long time and it's lucky once again. Arafura Resources hopes the cash injection will see it reach a final investment decision this year. It provides the impetus for us to finalise discussions with other lenders that are all around the, the world and it also helps provide investor confidence, which helps us to raise the, the required equity. The mine will produce the rare earths oxide known as NDPR, which is essential in the manufacture of electric cars, wind turbines and mobile phones. The demand for NDPR is expected to close to double by the end of this decade. The mine will also provide a much needed boost to the Northern Territory economy. More than 200 jobs will be created during construction, but Arafura Resources expects the project will create up to a thousand direct and indirect jobs over its lifespan. Most of those jobs will be based in Alice Springs, a town that is dealing with an unprecedented crime crisis. Arafura plans to fill up to 20% of those positions with Indigenous workers. We cannot have more generations of Territorians that don't have a pathway to employment, that don't have a pathway to work. A good news story for a town in desperate need of some hope. Matt Cunningham, Sky News.